Hey everyone. Welcome back again. In this video I am going to show you exactly how to create liquid logo animation in Adobe After Effects. This liquid animation will be very easy to create, and the result is pretty amazing. So, let's get started. So here is our composition. You can download this After Effects file to get started, using the link in the description below. Here we have a logo as different layers for each letters and a color palette and background. That's all we need for this. Cool. The first step is to pre-compose each layers. Press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose a layer. You can name the two. Ok. So let's get into animation. First open the letter S layer. Let's copy paste the color palette to S composition. Select the ellipse tool. Make sure the fill option is turned on. Draw the circle above the S letter as it covers it. We don't need to maintain the perfect shape of the circle. OK. Press Y and move the anchor point around here. Now move the playhead to 1 second. Press S and add a scale keyframe. Go to 0 seconds and set the value to 0. Easy ease the keyframes. And go to graph editor. And drag this point all the way left and modify graph something like this. Let's move the palette layer upward. And set the trackmate option of S layer to alpha mat. Select this two layers and pre-compose it again. Duplicate it two times. Offset the layer by couple of frames. Select the bottom two layers and add fill effect. We can select different colors from the color palette. Cool. Ok let's animate the M letter. We can copy and paste, the circle from past composition. Use shortcut Ctrl C and paste it on here by Ctrl plus V. We can move and cover the letter M. You can modify the length like this. Let's decrease the scale value as it covers. Set the track mat option of letter M to alpha mat. Like before, pre-compose and duplicate the layer two times. And offset by couple of frames. Add fill effect for the bottom two layers. And pick colors you like. Ok cool. Now we have animated the two letters. Like this we need to animate all other letters. I think you got the idea how I made it. So I am going to speed up the process.
Ok now we can hide all the color palette layers that used in all compositions. I think the revealing effect of these O2 layer is very slow so I am going to make it speed by decreasing the offset distance of this layers. Looks good. Again I am going to offset each layers by a frame. Ok let's make the animation more interesting by simple position animation. Move the playhead around here and add a position keyframe. Go to 0 seconds and make the layer downward. And easy ease the keyframes. Modified the graph to something like mine. Let's copy the keyframe and paste it on all other layer like this. Looks good to me. So the final technique is to create a liquid splash effect. So grab the pen tool. Turn off the fill and set white color to stroke. And set the stroke width to 30. Draw a smooth line like this. Click this arrow. Go to Contents. Shape, Stroke and change the Line Cap option to Round Cap and Line Join option to Round Join. Open the Taper option here. Set Start Length to 80. Start Ease to 25. And Start Width to 15. Now add trim path effect. Around here add keyframe on end and start. Set start value to 100. Move playhead around here and set value to 0. Easy ease the keyframes again and modify the graph like this. Offset the start value by few frames forward. I think the animation speed is little high. So select all keyframes and hold out and drag back. Now it looks perfect. Let's rename this layer to Liquid Trail. Search for stroke width add keyframe here and set value to 0 at end. Now we can make some splashes by duplicating this layer and modifying. Duplicate and make couple of other splashes too.